hello you guys and welcome to my channel today we're gonna do something a little bit different I caved I have not made a granny square and I cannot tell you how long I normally hate working with worsted weight yarn now I have not actually I could tell you I have not made a blanket since my trip back from visiting Ben while he was deployed in Bahrain, I made a queen size blanket for our guest bedroom that I never finished. I still have to tuck in all of the ends. That blanket is sitting in our garage and I tried to finish that blanket in 2021. So it's fully finished. I just have to weave in all the ends. That was the last time I made a granny square. So this yarn just came out from Red Heart Super Saver. Also not necessarily my favorite, brand but that's okay but it says uh no color switching keep on stitching that's actually kind of cute i actually kind of like that but that's gonna be all based on tension so i don't foresee this working for everybody or you're gonna have to change your hook or you're gonna have to change things to make that work for you so Red Heart, we're gonna we're gonna see. I have an idea in my head for a cardigan that I'm gonna make with this where like I do granny squares down the back and then I make the rest of the cardigan. Now, have I ever made clothes for myself? No. Am I ever gonna wear it if I make actually that's a lie. I made a shirt to wear to the pink concert for myself that I was gonna wear and then I didn't wear it. So we're gonna try to change that this year. I have an idea for a shirt that I want to make to go to the pink concert this year. We're gonna see if I actually have the guts to actually end up actually wearing it and then maybe a cardigan if I'll actually wear it. I don't know, we're gonna see. But I wanna do a strip of granny squares down the back. I, I, I have a vision, I have a vision. So that's what we're gonna try to do. It says on the skein that you're gonna get 14 granny squares out of a skein. Okay, sure. I can see that, it makes sense. One of these skeins was 10 bucks, not bad. And it's saying here to use a 5.5 millimeter hook, an I-9. That seems reasonable to me. So let's do that. This is my 5.5, five, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Now also when I used to work with this yarn, I also used to use a Susan Bates. I used to be a strictly Susan Bates hook user. So I don't know if that's also going to change things. I also have crazy crazy loose tension so I also might want to size down to a five or a four five I don't know I don't know I'm actually kind of nervous granny square all in one okay if you say so I mm, okay I'm like actually kind of nervous to see if this is actually gonna work for me okay all right let's uh Let's try it. Let's see if this is gonna work. Um, because I wanna use these for clothes, I'm not gonna use a magic circle. I'm gonna use, do I wanna do the chain two or do I wanna do a chain four? Let's do, let's do a chain four circle. That seems like a better idea, right? Cause then I can triple back this end. Right? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So it's definitely granny squares. It's a square, so it has four sides. I'm like, how do I do a granny square? What am I doing? I haven't made a granny square in so long. Working with a clover hook as opposed to a Susan Bates. Now, I used to swear by Susan Bates hooks, and I thought that using a clover or any of the more expensive hooks was going to be a scam. Isn't this supposed to start? No, it is supposed to start on the green. All right, so already... That would have been my first color change and that was my first uh, set. And we're not color changing. 
Now I don't know if they give you extra for your first one or what. So I think we're gonna have to try that again. Maybe if you do the single crochet instead of the chain three up, it works for you. Let's, let's try something different, hang on. So I just tried that two different ways and uh, we didn't color switch at the right spot. So now I think the answer is let's size up a hook and see if a six millimeter is gonna do it. I don't know if it's just because this is the first one and they give you plenty of extra yarn on the first one to try it. I don't know, but uh, that's interesting. I really didn't wanna go up a hook size. I thought that the stitches looked really good on the 5.5. Five. I thought that that was the right size hook for this yarn. So I'm really not so thrilled about needing to go up a hook size and even Going up a hook size, didn't do it. That's even worse, okay, cool, let's try. Maybe we just need to start this off in a different spot. Maybe that's it. I didn't really watch much of the way of other people's opinions on this yarn before I went for it, so maybe I should have done that. I kind of wanted to set my own opinions first. Yeah, okay, let's try just moving because this is not making me very happy right now. I don't think a magic circle is gonna change anything either. Maybe third time is the charm, huh? Maybe. Okay, there we go. That time it changed on the right spot. So let's keep going and see. If on the next round around it changes in the right spot. like it might be the right amount of yarn maybe so maybe just for the first strip they give you extra just to be cautious I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that that's the case I'm gonna be cautiously optimistic that that's the case nope How loose do you have to make your tension to make this work? Jeez, so I read the directions on the back for their directions for their granny square, which is the strangest directions for a granny square I have ever read or thought of in my life with so many extra steps and extra pieces that are so unnecessary. And I've, I, it's not how I was taught how to do a granny square, which I mean, 
there's no right or wrong way how to crochet and there's no right or wrong way to do a granny square and there are so many different ways on how to do a granny square but i feel like to make a yarn that is named all in one granny square and then to pick this weird ass way to do a granny square I feel like isn't the way that everyone was going to go, oh, I know how to do a granny square. I'm going to do the randomest way that Red Heart picked to do a granny square. I'm just saying. Because I don't think anybody's gonna read the back of the label and be like, oh yeah, I know that way. So, yeah, wow, shocking, it just worked. Or it, it came real close. So, all right, we'll try this again. Amazing what happens when you read the directions, but I didn't think I would need to read the directions on yarn. And then it wants, they said that's an unnecessary piece and I, I don't like that. If this works all the way around though, This is just not the way I would have picked how to do a granny square for the granny square yarn. I never would have, never would have thought that this is what they would have done. All right, so it's closer, it's still not it, but it's a lot closer. Like by a lot. By a lot, that is close enough that in a six millimeter that might've done it. I sized my hook back down. Where'd I put the six millimeter hook? I sized it back down. And I also feel like with this way that they don't put, you need to slip stitch into their space and not just into there. You gotta slip stitch into there too, right? They don't say that, right? No, they don't. Oh, I didn't do it right. See, again, I don't, didn't do it right because this is not the way I know how to do a granny square. And I don't like that I have to think about it because this isn't the way I feel like anybody was taught how to do a granny square. Not anybody that I know. The way that I was taught how to do a granny square, you go from one double crochet cluster to the next, you, and you do two chains in the corner. That's not what this is. Why are we making this more difficult? Yep, see, I just did two chains in the corner because that's what I know. <sighs> All right, so it looks like a six millimeter and this yarn is what's gonna work for me because that just did it. if you use their pattern that's on the inside of the label. Their weird, weird, weird pattern for a granny square. It's weird. 
let's keep going and see if I'm right that that's what they base this off of because if that's what they base this off of, I don't understand. I, that, that doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going and we're gonna see how that continues to go because their granny square pattern is what's working for me in this yarn. But it has to be their specific granny square. Not just any granny square, their specific granny square on the back of the yarn. I wonder if it would work a different way without doing it that way. I feel like this way just looks so sloppy and I really don't like it. I don't like their granny square. There are so many better ways to do a granny square. Ooh. Okay, so that way it didn't even work. Okay, so maybe I can size down and do it my way and not do it their way. Hang on. Now I wanna undo this whole thing. Now we're gonna do it again. Yes, I'm ripping out this entire thing and I'm gonna redo it all over again. Yep, 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 because I don't like it. I don't like it, I don't like the way that they want me to do it and I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm really hoping that this works this way because I don't like that other square. Okay, it's so close. It's so freaking close. It is so close. Loosen up your tension just a hair. God, I can't put any tension on this yarn. I feel like this yarn is almost more of a headache than it is to just cut the yarn and tie the ends. Ha ha! There we go. We have a square. I didn't have to use their 
stupid starting mat. The, the corner on theirs, it just looked so messy. I don't love, so I'm using a part of their method. I'm adding a chain one in between my three double crochet clusters, which I've seen before, and I'm still using three chains in the corners instead of two the way I like. But if that's what it takes to get this yarn to work, and I can chain three up the side, I'll freaking take it. You can, I cannot hold any tension on this yarn. This yarn is barely touching my fingers. So normally I, I hold pretty, I thought I had a loosey goosey tension, but I'm like not even, I'm barely touching this yarn now. Holy crap, I can't like, there is a hair. I, I can't even like, you can't tension it at all. It does not want any tension on it. Oh, I need to chain in between. Crap, I keep forgetting. This yarn wants no tension on it. Hey, okay, now I can put a little bit of tension on it because I didn't get there. God, this is like a game. And I don't like it. This literally feels like more of a headache than it's worth. Oh my God. Playing this tension game to figure out how much tension needs to actually be on this yarn to make it all the way around. And this is what I thought was gonna be the problem with this yarn in the first place. You have to have the perfect tension with the perfect hook to make it all the way around and get it to color change just right in the right spot. Will this work for some people? Sure, I'm sure your tension and you'll pick the right hook on the first try and it'll work perfect for you. But this is just a gigantic headache for me. Like, I don't know how I am gonna get 14 squares out of this yarn before I decide to just throw it in the trash. I won't throw it in the trash, but before I decide to throw it across the room or put it in timeout for a year, like, Am I ever gonna finish this cardigan? I don't know. Am I ever gonna get 14 squares out of this yarn? Probably not. Would I have been better off just buying all of these colors and actually tensioning this the way that I want to and using the yarn and the hook that I want to? Yeah, yeah, I probably would have been better off. This is just a gigantic headache. All right, so that time around it worked. whoop de doo Okay, so that almost changed where I wanted it to. I could have tightened my tension on that round. And I almost used normal tension on that round. Why is it different every round?
I also want to know who they got to test this yarn. That's something I would love to know. Who tested this? Who crocheted with it? I want to know. Who got paid to do that job? I want to know. Because I want to know what you normally make and what your tension is like because this is cuckoo bananas to me. Why is each row needing a different tension? Oh, for f**k's sake. And now it's changing too early. I, I can't. I hate this yarn. I hate this yarn. I hate this yarn. I hate this yarn. Okay, this is probably the squarest granny square I have ever made. However, in terms of this shit striping where it's supposed to, it's bull And as this has gotten bigger, my tension has had to get tighter to what it normally is to get it to go all the way around. This is crap. This is absolute nonsense. Um, Whoever they had test this yarn clearly didn't have consistent tension. Um, I think I have fairly consistent tension. And you can literally see the size of my clusters go from big to small. Because you have to tighten your crap to get this to go all the way around. This is nuts. The fact that I have to tighten up my squares, my uh, clusters so much to keep consistent with what they're saying is supposed to be self-striping all in one. Are you nuts? This is crazy. Oh, I'm mad. Oh, I am mad. And I had a feeling this was gonna happen with this yarn. It's unfortunate that these colors are so pretty. This is ridiculous. Nope. Nope. That's nuts. Look at how much tighter, how much smaller this cluster is from these here. That's how much tighter I had to crochet for this round, this time around from the first one till now. That's how much tighter I had to crochet and I still don't have enough yarn to get me all the way around. So whoever they had test this either didn't have consistent tension or I don't know what because I'm still two double crochet and a slip stitch short from being able to finish this. Wow, and I was struggling on these ones around in the beginning because I had too much left over and now I don't have enough to finish. What? All right, well, I got one granny square so far. I had to redo this last round uh, five, six, seven times to get it to go all the way around. I had to go all the way down to a five millimeter hook. I had to take chains out of the corners because it wasn't gonna stripe enough. And I'm still concerned we're gonna see the green when I weave in this end. They don't give you enough black on this last round. It's terrible. I'm so mad about this last round. It, Mad doesn't even begin to explain how mad I am. Do you see how much tighter those black rows are? I'm gonna have to like put this down on a table so you can see how much smaller these are compared to the lighter green ones. I, livid. I'm better off, I, I feel like I'm so much better off just going and buying these colors and making it work. Do they have pretty colors for this yarn to make you wanna buy it and make it all pretty. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, they really do. They pick some really great colors for these yarns, but I'm mad. This is some 
I don't know. Am I gonna try to make another one right now? Yeah, yeah, I am. Let's see how that works. Why do I need three hooks for one granny square? Why do I need three hooks? I just threw my hook. Why do I need three hooks for one granny square? That's ridiculous. starting with a magic circle, not what I wanted to do. I hate this yarn. You hate it? So mad. I'm recording a video. I'm so mad. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. I'm talking about how much I hate it. Why uh, do you hate it? I had to use three hooks on one granny square to make it work. Is that because you didn't get the right hook at first or is it because the yarn changes oh, thickness throughout the because the yarn color changes don't line up so there's not enough look at the the different like how small the black is compared to how mm -hmm. big i i know I'm, I know. I'm i'm not saying i'm a genius <laughs> but when you first showed it to me i believe i said something about but isn't that affected by the hook, uh, the hook thickness? No, by the tension. And that's why I said by the tension. Sorry, but I mean the hook thickness also would affect it. Well, by the, by the size of your hook, yes. But I shouldn't need to use three different hooks. Right. On one. Yeah. What granny the, square. What does the wrapper say? The wrapper says five point five is recommended. And it doesn't say anything about needing to switch or nothing else. All right, so this is the second one and it worked up fine until that last round where I had to size down a hook again. And the biggest issue that I'm finding is that just tucking in this last final end, it's gonna be impossible if it's green. You're gonna see it. Who the hell wants that? I don't wanna see a green end in my black. But at least now I've got two done. But again, at least it was more, it was definitely much more consistent throughout until the very end. The last, the last round looked smaller because I had to size down a hook to make it all the way around. It's just stupid. Just stupid. All right, so that is granny square number three. I'm gonna see how many I get out of the skein. It says I'm gonna get 14. So let's uh, get the 14 done and then uh, see where we're at, shall we? So I never finished that video, but I did get my squares and I did get my sweater. So these are the rest of the squares. I did get a total of 14 squares out of that skein, but it was a gigantic headache. So I color matched it as best as I could with big twist value. So from now on, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to color match them and make granny squares the old fashioned way because boy, was that a headache. That yarn was just such a headache to work with and I will not be doing that again. Nope. Not for me.